Hello, welcome, one and all. Um, I'm here today talking a little bit about the multidimensionality of our physical bodies. Um, basically, it'd be important to know, first off, that we are literally oscillators of energy. We walk around the planet and are regulating cosmic and earth energy and uh, their respective currents um, going into going throughout life and we are part of this um, meeting of, of two We're living in this parallel realities and uh, we have different bodies that are inside of this reality you know we have our physical body which uh, which we are very identified with as uh, individual egos and we identify with our body a lot you know a lot of people may not s seem to think that we have much more than what we what is here right now and it's <laughs> there's much more to life than just here and now and while I'm saying that I also don't want to undervalue the uh the power of now, the power of being here in the moment, and the power of um, being fully in your body. Like this is so important. It's the most important thing actually. Um, however, when we consider that we are not just the body, that we are also the mind, and also our emotions, we consider, we start to think about that we are uh, multi-dimensional, you know, we're, we're more than just this physical reality and this physical body. So um, as human beings on earth, we are mo modulating this incoming energy. We are basically funnels of, uh, of energy. So you know, we have our body and it acts as a funnel. It's this energy that's coming in through, into our body, through the etheric body, through the astral body, which I may get into if we have time in this video, but we are funneling in this uh, cosmic energy and basically Cosmic energy is anything that is not physical reality. So um, all the subtler planes of reality that we are are affected by and also we affect, we are um, bridges between this three-dimensionality of our bodies into the um, other realms of reality. So as this incoming, this downward and outward force that projects itself into the three-dimensional rea three reality is, in my opinion, and can be considered this, uh, this downward force. It's, it's, uh, it's subjecting itself onto us and it's subjecting itself it's expanding, it's expressing itself. It's not good or bad. It's something that um, a lot of people and a lot of teachings characterize as the positive, the positive current, the, the positive force of reality. And um, this can be characterized as, in my opinion, as the masculine. Um, the masculine. The male force, you know, our, our own reproductive organ is, is uh, outside of our body. It's, um, you know, males are often characterized as being this um, domineering and this um, aggressive kind of expressive role. And while those are just ideas, we... I, I would like to mention 
that uh, mending this this identification as being only one gender is going to be pivotal to our own if evolution as human beings and going into a more of a conducive environment uh, internally and externally. We are uh, very intelligent. Our cells in our body are way more intelligent than our, our conscious minds are. And using the biological technology of our bodies with in, in conjunction with our uh, mind body and our emotional body, um, we can we can essentially uh, cross any bridge we want to. We can make any kind of reality we want to. Um, so the masculine force is a downward and outward force, and this is this is this cosmic energy. This is uh, the cosmic energy expressing itself in the three dimensionality. So we have uh, concepts up here. We have uh, ideas. And, and we have the things that come out of thin air. <laughs> so uh, that is kind of a little bit about what the masculine represents and its little its function. That's very, very brief. However, uh, we have to consider the earth energy. You know, we, we, we walk on the planet. We're not... We're not in the ocean, we're not, uh, we're not in the sky, we're not like, you know, avians, we're not flying around. So we, we share a very close relationship with the earth um, and also the air because we are touching the ground and we are also connected with the uh, atmosphere, so, and we rely on both of them, but uh, the earth energy can be characterized as the more dense uh, materials and the, the more dense reality of three dimensions, of three dimensional um, earth, uh, of our bodies, of, our, of the periodic table of chemicals, chemical reactions, um, this can be considered, yeah, earth energy. And when cosmic and earth energy meet, they, they have a dynamic and a, they dance. They, they create with each other. And, um, and that's what we are as human beings, as uh, oscillators of energy walking around. We uh, get to regulate what energy we project and what energy we act on through our consciousness. So, um, you know, people that are more aligned with their, <clears throat> with their head and more aligned with their ideas and concepts and, you know, philosophical or, um, any of that kind of thing. Don't want to get too specific, but those people are definitely engaging in the higher um, subtler planes of reality which exist not out in the physical touch, um, sense, uh, smell, sight, any of that. They are engaging in that cosmic energy that comes from the higher planes of reality. So uh, that's like, you know, represented a four, fifth, six, and up, all those dimensions. So, uh, yeah, we, we begin to look at people that do that. And then also we have the people that have um, what can be considered as uh, earth consciousness. <laughs> Let's say that. We have people that are more concerned about their bodies, what the body needs, what the, uh, what the emotion needs, you know, our, our survival. People are more connected with that survival consciousness and that is, that is like a, a little bit slower vibration. It's a, it's a, uh, it's not good, bad, right or wrong. It's just a slower, more um, regulated energy. You know, we have, uh, we have like, 
ultra, ultra, I'm sorry, infrared waves, you know, oscillating very slowly and people that are concerned with survival and also more just aligned with their physical body are operating on this, on this lower, slower vibration of reality. People with uh, their con conceptual, and that's not right or wrong or bad or good. It's just what it is. So people that are reacting or reacting, people that are reacting from thoughts and thought forms, which I won't get into right now, but is a whole other video, a whole other book in itself. But people that are uh, aligned with, you know, cosmic energy, with non-three-dimensional non uh, energy, which we all are, but some more than others, um, this is considered, you know, very, very fast, maybe even faster, like very quick uh, waves of energy, oscillating energy. So, uh, yeah, we have, you know, the difference currents here, and I haven't gotten into fe fem feminine yet, but the the feminine principle is uh, negative in nature. It's it's contraction. It's uh, pulling in, pulling in to uh, to integrate. You know, to eventually integrate. Integrate integration is more of a neutral standpoint, but uh, you know we have uh, negative down here and positive up up here. So positive is expressive. It goes out, you know, it goes out into the world and then, you know, it expresses itself fully and then it starts to get tired and it starts to drop in energy. And, you know, we have in our excitement, in our expression of ourselves, we have higher, higher, more uh, fast, vibrating um, energy in our bodies and whatnot, in our multi-dimensional bodies. We have faster moving energy. And so when we run out of that energy, that, that high vibrating energy, which is a natural process, we have to expand and contract to live, you know, our lungs, our blood, the waves of the ocean, it's all a part of our existence here on earth to, uh, to expand and contract. So when we, when we align ourselves with, you know, this high vibration energy of creation, this is creation, you know, it's, uh, it's putting things into physical reality and into form. And then we're, we're, we're go, we go into a, a state of um, renewal, of rejuvenation, of um, getting our nutrients back into ourselves so that we can use them for more expression and, and creation. Um, so as we expand out and we and we do the things that we love to do and create and produce into the world, uh, we, we come back into ourselves, like at the end of the day, you know, we go, we, we go into nighttime and we, we go into other planes of reality when we sleep and we go into the parallel lives that we are not aware of <laughs> as uh, current humans, most current humans are. And, we go into ourselves, we, we go into the subconscious, the unconscious, the, uh, that place where everything is connected in a way. Here we have uh, expression, you know, being individuals, being, uh, being that ego consciousness, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but being that, that uh, creative, um, defined energy and that divine personality uh, and then we, we go into this uh, state of our consciousness where 
we don't really find know the separation. We don't have any separation. We we are uh, connected with something much bigger, something much more vast, and much much more uh, undefined. You know, we have definition up here. We have. Uh, but you know, when we, we go to sleep, we have rejuvenation. So going through this whole process, uh, we, we, we go throughout a cyclic kind of process in everyday life. And the negative and positive need to be joined together. The feminine and masculine need to be united together so that um, we can expand our consciousness. You know, people like to think that consciousness will ascend and will move into a, a happier, more blissful, more fulfilled, more uh, productive life. But it doesn't work like that. We're not three-dimensional beings, and we're not um, we're not only part of this physical reality. But we're part of many other realities. So our actions and thoughts all act and contribute and um, have an effect on all of, our, all of the other parallel dimensions and realities. So when people think that, you know, we're going to ascend, we're going to go into light bodies and we're going to go into the astral realms and all that stuff, <laughs> all that mumbo jumbo, <laughs> Uh, very useful stuff, but it is a misconception and our expansion of consciousness isn't going to be only that. It's both up and down. It's both, uh, we, we, we go into our in more of a conscious state of knowing more, of uh, ex, you know expressing ourselves more, of being more individual and also understanding our reality more, but we also go into this point where we, uh, you know, we go into the depths of our own shadow. We go into the depths of our own uh, mystery, of our own misunderstanding. And when we, the farther we go up, the farther we expand our consciousness, the more we go with our understanding and knowledge, the, the more mystery we, we also encumber and the also we uh, take on because that is just the nature of our, of our reality is that mm, the more we know, the more we don't know. <laughs> so um, yeah, point our evolution is, is kind of the best way to describe it is it's kind of like we go, we go up and we hit a plateau and then we go up and hit a plateau and it keeps going up and uh, without getting too much into it, we're, we're actually uh, going out of the plateau right now. We're going, we're in, we're right around that, that cornerstone, you know, we're at that cornerstone right now in, in our consciousness as three dimensional beings and of humans on earth. and. When we, uh, this is understanding, you know, this is, uh, this is being consciously aware is going up, you know, but uh, at the same time, when we expand our consciousness, we also go into a point of mystery and we, we expand our consciousness in both ways. We don't only... Uh, go into understanding, but we go also more into mystery. So down here we have mystery. So yes, it's it's a cause and effect. As above, so below. It's it's part of the whole grandiose process. And the more we integrate the the subconscious and the conscious mind in together the more powerful and the more uh, intentional and also the more fulfilled we become. You know, these represent different um, parallel realities and 
parallel realities are uh, not understood by the common public, and they're not taught. It's not taught in schools, but when the more we align with our parallel bodies, our parallel lives, our parallel consciousness, the more we can offer to uh, our world and our others, and also the more we can create, co-create with nature and in harmony. If we so choose, um, if we're going to continue on this war path of killing each other, then we're not going to uh, expand our consciousness uh, very much, you know. Expansion is in both directions. It's not only about one direction. It's not going to look one way. It's also going to be in a completely uh, unacknowledged way also. So it's going to affect and ripple throughout all of our parallel lives as uh, multi-dimensional beings. So the masculine is of concepts, ideas, expression, is the cellular planes going, expressing themselves and wanting to be created into three-dimensional reality. So this is kind of an involution. It's kind of a uh, stepping down of uh, of our own, of, of something that is not physical. So we can talk about how uh, this is involutionary and we can talk a little bit about uh, the feminine. The feminine is, is all about being connected with our bodies. So matter, it's about uh, transformation. Transformation, it's about um, it's about healing, healing. It's about uh, regeneration, you know? It's about uh, loving ourselves. It's about loving ourselves. You know, this, this isn't necessarily aligned, not necessarily um, expressing of ourselves is more about exerting, you know, it's about uh, contributing. And, and when we, when we go, when we do that too much, you know, it can be over overwhelming for other people. So when we go back into ourselves and we love ourselves and we begin to understand the, uh, the, com the complexity of the things we we don't quite aren't quite aware of and we begin to pierce that veil of um of what we think we know of and we go into the mystery of things uh we can come out we can come out the next time the next aligned, aligned version version of ourselves when we come back into ourselves and evolve and that's what this this current is, you know, the 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 feminine current is of evolution. It's the upward and inward force, you know. Even the genitalia of the woman is inside. It's uh, it's going. It's going in, you know, like that whole process is, is a uh, dynamic of creating, of creating a new, creating new life. Um, so this, this as these aspects of ourselves in our, in the most fundamental and basic form of duality is separated and what we can understand and benefit from is if we integrate 
the masculine and feminine principles of the downward outward force as masculine and the inward and upward force as feminine, we begin to understand that dynamic and we begin to realize when, what state we're in and what we're doing and in each and every day of our everyday lives, we go through this, this element and these dynamics uh, in every, even every minute, every second, you know, we're inhaling and exhaling, but without getting too complicated, I'll just go into how we need to align ourselves with the masculine and feminine currents. So I'll write that a little bit bigger. We need to unify this and unify the different the different uh, realities of of our existence. You know, we have to align our bodies with our thoughts and actions. We need to align our um, conscious mind with our subconscious. And there's no one way, right or wrong way to do this. You know, it's there's so many different ways for uh, creation to understand and improve itself that for me to list and name a bunch of different ways you could do that would be in or will be futile. So I have a few techniques, but that'll be for another video. <laughs> um, we as a as a society and individuals need to connect with our feminine principle more. We need to connect with our sexuality. We need to connect with our emotions. We need to connect with our uh, with the proper responsible uh, responsibility of expressing our emotions and our sexuality and. I'm really big on this right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'll be do, doing more videos on sexuality and femininity and the feminine currents and the feminine force uh, of evolution. And we're as a is a on the macro, we're going into a higher vibration. You know, we're going into this um, ultraviolet kind of uh, extremely rapid conscious awareness as a society and if we choose to create and get on this train as individuals we can go into evolution of uh, going to the subtler planes of our reality of our bodies going into the etheric and astral bodies and understanding that and using that to co-create our reality in a more intentional way we can uh, produce things that we, and manifest things that we never uh, previously thought possible or, you know, being in the, in the, stuck in the past and stuck in, uh, you know, the irresponsible um, ways that we express our emotions and uh, cope and with these emotions that we experience, this emotional body is uh <laughs> is very uh misunderstood the astral body um so so is the etheric but as a society and individuals stepping into our evolution stepping into our femininity our sexuality uh what other things that uh femininity represents you know um healing Healing ourselves is key. That's very key. Uh, stepping into our physical bodies, um, nourishing that, nourishing and taking care of the body is is a integral and fundamental part of our evolution into the solar planes of reality and our going into the uh, the parallel bodies and parallel lives of ourselves. So. The more we go into the body and the more we go expand our consciousness into the body and our knowledge, uh, as above, so below. So the more we understand, we will, the more we'll understand about the non-physical body of the, uh, you know, of this directional current going upward and into the, uh, many ways that we can uh, create and 
manifest. So I hope this was entertaining. I hope this was educational. I know I went on for a bit. I wish I could uh, shrink and go into uh, more of a concise uh, description and uh, expression of all this information, but it's a big topic. It's a big uh, meal. It's a lot of information. So hopefully this was insightful. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll be excited to keep on keeping on and produce some more content for y'all. I love doing this. I love uh, hearing everybody's uh, input, maybe even for my improvement. So thank you very much. Be true, be you, be authentic, and uh, express yourself. Thank you.